Hi everybody, my name is Kylie and I'm going to briefly cover the automatic email notification feature which was released in version 19 of RFMS. This feature gives users the ability to set up different types of notifications that are related to order entry, Schedule Pro and Bid Pro. But to enable this new feature, you will need to get a special access code from us to activate it and then set up an email that the notifications will be sent from. But once this is done, you'll be ready to go. So let me show you how you create the notifications in RFMS. So I'm just in order entry now. So you go up to utilities, set up across and down to notifications. So you'll see here that I've been testing a few notifications recently. But we'll create a new one. So to create a new one, you click on the green plus button to add a new notification. So this is the starting screen and it system systematically goes through a series of questions so you build a notification record and, and trigger. So what I'm gonna show you today is creating a notification to be sent out to all my customers to remind them that they have um, a job booked in in two days time, that an installer will be coming to their property in two days time. So. A nice little reminder because we know people's lives get very busy. So because my database uses Schedule Pro, I'm going to have it based on a Schedule Pro job that you can click these other ones if you so wish. I'm going to do this one. So click on Next. The next question is what Schedule Pro job should the notification apply to? I want it to be applied to all Schedule Pro jobs. But you can filter it out. So you, you can filter it out by a particular store or you can filter it out by a particular customer type. I want it to send to all, so I'm going to do that one. Okay, so this question is what field? So what field date do you want the notification to be triggered by? I want it to be triggered by this one that's already highlighted, schedule job start date. but you may wish to choose one of the other ones, but I'll do that one. Okay, this next box is asking you, when do you want this notification to be sent in relation to that date that you've just registered in this notification wizard? So, because I want it sent two days before the job is to be done, it'll be a negative number. But if I want the notification to be sent after the job has been completed, then I'd enter down here as a positive number. So you may want to email the customer after the job has been done and invite them to place feedback on one of your social media pages, or you may just want to send them a general thank you note. So in this case, you'd do like a positive number. But because I want the notification to be sent out before the date, two days before the date, I'll do negative two. Let's click the next button. Will the notification be internal or external? So with these notifications, you do have the option to set them up as going to coworkers, etc., or to customers and suppliers, and they would be an external note. So I want it to be an external note because this is going to my customers. Next, how will the notific notification be delivered? Email, that's right. Who should receive the email notification? Well, I, it's going to my customers, so be my customer email. So here we are entering a subject for the email. Because when you send an email, they always have a subject line. So this is where you put it here. Next. And then this box is the actual body of the email message. You may wish to include your store phone number so that your customer 
can easily give you a ring if they need to reschedule. It might be quite handy to have the phone number in there. So I'm happy with that, so I'll click on Next. And this final box is just a little internal note to explain why this notification was created in the first place. So I'll just put in here. Okay. And there we go. There's my new notification that's been created. But say I want to make a little change. I might have got the phone number wrong. So you just highlight the record there and then click on the edit notification. And all the areas that are in the white boxes, these are editable. So you can go in and change it. So I've got the phone number wrong. Change it to that. And that's all good. However, the boxes that are greyed out, these are fixed. You cannot, unfortunately, change these, but it's okay. All you need to do is just delete this record and start again. But honestly, once you've done one or two notifications, it only takes a couple of minutes to create a new one. So it's not, not a big deal. Also, you might not be ready to have this notification activated just yet. You might not want to have it sent out. So you can make it inactive and to do that you just all you need to do is just click on this little box and it makes it inactive so it's like put it, putting it on hold and then when you're ready to make it active again you just take the tick out of the box okay another cool little feature is that you can view all the email notifications that have been sent in the notification center so to view them you go up to mail and then in this tab communication sent. So here's all the list of ones that I've been testing out that have been emailed out mostly to myself. But it gives you just a brief overview of that there and the date and the time that it was sent. And also down here, what the message contained. So it's very handy to go and view all that there. And again, you can filter what you view. You can filter the completed and Things like that and I'll just show you an actual email that I received that was sent from me to me but it gives you just an idea of um, what the email contains so yeah, it's got the date and the time which is very handy for the customer so this is just a really really basic one that I made up but it gives you an idea of what it looks like so finally just a couple of things we like to suggest when you start using email notifications is don't go overboard with setting up lots and lots of, of these until you kind of find your feet because otherwise your customers could start receiving lots and lots of emails and we don't want that to happen. We don't want to frustrate anyone with screeds and screeds of emails. So it's good just to, to create one or two just until you get used to the way that they so this is a fairly new feature in RFMS and in true RFMS style, they're continually working on enhancements and new ideas. So watch this space for, for new things happening with the, the RFMS notifications. So if you're wanting to know more, we can arrange a meeting. If there's so many options in the notification area, we've only just touched a small part of the email notifications. So we're very happy to come online with you and we can go into it with you in a little bit more depth and we can have a discussion as to you know what what you would be wanting to use this notification feature for so you're happy to ring us on our or you're welcome sorry to ring us on our free phone numbers for australia or new zealand or email us at the help desk which is help.au at rfms.com Thank you very much and enjoy your day.